On the left we have Cheetah Sync on the tablet and on the right Cheetah Sync on the desktop. Select Sync Jobs. Now select Find Manually. Here you will enter the IP address. That's the same IP address that's in the Cheetah Sync desktop application. So in this instance choose 192.168.1.116 Touch the OK button. Cheetah Sync will now find your computer. When the application locates your computer, it will ask you to enter the same password that you entered in the desktop software. Select Edit Password. Make sure the passwords match and select OK. Now let's create a sync job. You will now be able to see all the folder contents on your computer. So let's navigate to the folder we created earlier. We'll go up and let's go inside the desktop and our sync folder. Once you're inside the folder, touch the check mark button on the top right to select it. Now we can see all the folders that are located on the tablet. We have to select a folder we want to sync with. Let's create a new folder. Let's name this CH Sync and hit the OK button. Uh, here's our new folder. Let's select it. Now that we're inside the folder, we can select the check mark. And now we get the various options for our sync job. There's a lot of them, but we only have to change a few. Under job name, let's name it CH Demo. For sync direction, select computer to Android. Under collision policy, select keep computer. Make sure that create conflict files is not selected and touch save. The sync job is created and you won't have to do that again. Now click the sync button on the left. You can see the sync job that you created. Now choose sync now. The sync is complete. Now let's take a look in our tablet folder and see if the files synced. Select ch sync and we can see that there's a file named test document. So let's check if it's the same file on our desktop. And there you go. The same exact file is now on your tablet that's in your desktop folder.